Good morning, everyone. We are going to study the about the chamber. The title of this lecture is "Enter into the Chambers Until the Indignation Is Over." It is written in Isaiah chapter twenty-six twenty. So this morning we are going to try to understand what's the meaning of. Enter into the chamber. Now, this is the situation today. We are facing the wicked hands of Satan and his followers. They are waging terrible inhuman biological warfare. Okay, it is written in Isaiah 26 20 to 20. Let us read together. Come, my people, enter you into your chambers and shut your doors about you. Hide yourself as it were for a little moment until the indignation be over. For behold, the Lord comes out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose of blood and shall no more cover the slain. This address is to the captive Jews in Babylon. The tempest that would rage would be the wars and commotion by which Babylon was to be overturned. The Babylon Empire was overturned by Persia under the leadership of the general Cyrus. Okay, at that time Daniel was there. Daniel was able to save his life while the last wicked king Belshazzar was punished by Persian power. He used to pray to God three times a day toward Jerusalem in his upper room. Okay, the Lord sent King Cyrus to make them return to Jerusalem at last. So, in this history, the role of King Cyrus was Messiah for Israelite. Okay, as for Daniel, how we entered into his chamber, it is written, he used to pray three times a day in his upper room before start off before starting his prayer he used to open the window toward Jerusalem so uh, this is the meaning personal meaning of the uh, Daniel's entering into his chamber the chamber means prayer chamber or prayer room, personal prayer room, in the case of Daniel. Okay, then let me introduce the meaning of the chamber according to ancient Hebrew picture letter. Chamber in Hebrew, cheder, cheder, okay. This Hebrew language was consist of three consonants, Het, and Dalet, and Resh. As you see, the Het is a description of temple or world house. Second consonant, Dalet, is the picture of tent door, door or gate. And then final consonant, Resh, Today it is called rush, human head. Picture is the human head, means human or someone in the story. Okay, let us attempt to interpret the meaning. Number one, uh, these three picture letters shows us the concept of header, concept of chamber. What's the meaning of chamber here? That's the temple inside a gate. So, 
head brass ballet means temple inside the gate. And then temple is for man, is temple is for worshiper. That's the meaning. Okay, second meaning, header, chamber, or room, uh, refers to holy of holy in the temple, hat. Because as you enter into, the meaning is uh, holy of holy, okay, plus deep inside the door, dalet, plus for man, worshippers. So, how second interpretation could be possible? How Holy of Holy Temple could be interpreted the Holy of Holy in the Temple? I consider the verbal meaning of Kader. The, the verb form of Kader is Hadar. Hadar means to penetrate. So, a literal translation is he penetrated. The, the meaning of penetrate means you go through a deeper place, penetrate. To invade, it shows very active meaning. So considering this hadar, penetrate or invade, so when you enter into chamber, you must enter into your chamber actively and then uh, you must enter into a chamber, okay, deep inside. It is located deep inside. So, if it is temple, the nuance of temple uh, describes deep inside the temple. So, uh, the Holy of Holy, it could refer to Holy of Holy inside the gate. There it is for man. So, original meaning of chamber, according to ancient Hebrew, seems to refer to the place located deep inside of the temple. That's so why it is translated in English, chamber. But if it is applied to individual house, the chamber seems to imply deep in the room. Deep in the room, okay, or prayer room, okay. Your prayer room can be understood as your temple because you are supposed to experience presence of Holy Spirit. Okay. Every place you experience the presence of Holy Spirit, feeling of outpouring of Holy Spirit, that's the Holy of Holy. Okay, David's earlier life experience shows us a good example of entering chamber. Okay, I want you to see the picture, three pictures. First one, maps. Do you see three the dotted places? Mm. These places, uh, when David began to be persecuted by King Saul, he stayed there, ran away. And then moved to another way, run away because he was chased after the soldiers sent by King Saul. Well, one time, King Saul himself chased the David. So David had, had to run away, run away, run away. His this kind of running away, David earlier experience uh, could be the example of entering into chamber. He and his four soldiers fled to Adullam. Adullam is the name of the cave. You see in the, the lowest third photo, that's the Adullam cave. Second, in the middle photo, there's an entrance. Entrance is small, but as you enter, it becomes very large. You can accommodate there are more than 400 soldiers. It's an underground cave. As for David, entering into chamber means entering into underground cave. <clears throat> okay, as for David, chamber was deep underground cave. Had there. It was located deep inside. 
when God determined to punish the workers of iniquity, let us keep close to the Lord and separate from the sinful world and let us seek his comfort in prayer. How David was able to keep close to the Lord. While he was running away, he has no time to attend temple worship. How David was able to keep close to the Lord. Number one, by making close friendship with godly Jonathan. Okay, the son of the first son of King Saul, he was godly. He was moved by the Holy Spirit. And then, because of the works of the Holy Spirit, Jonathan and David became a good friend, best friend. Okay? Whenever David encountered the <clears throat> dangerous situation by the help of Jonathan, David was able to escape. Okay? Many times. So, making good friends. At this time of pandemic, we must make friends with godly friends, okay? Godly one, choose godly one. Actively choose godly one. And whenever uh, you are arrested by any fear, any worry, and then open your heart and then talk to each other, and then I'm sure you are encouraged by your godly friend. Okay, number two, uh, David used to ask our high priest, Abi Ardar. There was Abi Ardar. He was also ran away from the persecution of uh, King Saul, Abi Ardar, the, the young priest. And, but David, whenever he was in trouble, he used to ask high priest Abi Ardar. Please pray for us. And then please tell us, please pray to God, for we are in this kind of trouble. So, uh, today, you must be a good friend of your senior pastor, okay? Whenever you are in trouble, call to your senior pastor and then ask him to pray for you. They ask him any uh, mentor, any advice for you. So this is the way you can come close to the Lord. Okay, number one, make a godly friend. Number two, make your senior pastor most friendly leader for you, most friendly mentor for you. Okay, some. 27.5, we can see David's confession, David's faith. It is written, For in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his shelter. He means God. In the time of trouble, God is the one who shall hide me in his shelter. God is our hiding place forever. Amen. God is our hiding place forever. Wait for his restoration and find out fresh spring waters in the wilderness. How long we must wait for? It depends on the situation. Okay, there are many cases of entering into chamber. Number one, Noah. One whole year, Noah had to stay inside the ark, inside the big boat for one whole year. So this kind of pandemic, pandemic Corona-19 could continue one whole year, but I'm not sure. Number two, uh, it took 14 long years for David ahead of holding kingship. As long as, but as long as the Lord takes care of you, the length of tribulation does not bother you. So what is important? Abide in the Lord. Three. Okay. 
Remember, seven years of tribulation in the book of Revelation. Okay. In the last days, so the people of God might pass through seven years, years of tribulation. Okay, look at the picture. Uh, the upper one, that's the Engedi fortress. As you enter into Engedi uh, Valley, okay, on the both sides, you see this kind of high walls, dry. But you see the black black color of holes that's the natural caves natural caves could be functioning chamber okay holy of holy soldiers and david enter into there and, and take a rest or pray to god it's a hiding place but you might be worried over what to drink okay what to eat but uh, there is a stream, a miraculous stream, miraculous spring water coming out. So in between high rocks, the stream, life water is flowing. So they are refreshed. Okay, because of this stream, many animals are moving around here. Wild goats. Okay. Other many wild birds, wildlife are moving around here. So it's a good hunting ground. So they can catch the animals and then they eat. So they can get food, they can get water. Okay, this is the uh, very much important condition to become a fortress, hiding place. So as you experience sufferings, in this pandemic time, I wish you drink the living water. I wish you drink Holy Spirit. Okay, number four case. It it might take forty days. Okay, Elijah entered into a place of safety cave on Mount Sinai, waiting for God's go signal. You see. This picture, I, look, I want to look at this picture on the mountain top area. This is mountain of the mountain Sinai, real mountain Sinai located in Saudi Arabia. The people living around here, they say this is the, the cave of Elijah. It means Elijah visited here. Elijah stayed uh, this place long enough. So the people encountered People met Elijah. Oh, where are you staying? Oh, in, in the cave. Okay, fine. How long? It might be just overnight. The whole Israelite was commanded not to go out of doors on the night of Passover only. Do you remember Passover night? It was only overnight. It, because there was a slaying of the Egyptian firstborn. Every firstborn was slain during the night. And God commanded, don't go out. Stay inside. Uh, that's the meaning of uh, entering into chamber. Okay, six. Three days visiting prayer mountain or one whole week visiting prayer mountain or monastery or retreat house is one of the way of entering into chambers okay in south korea there are around 300 prayer mountains so whenever christians they encounter trouble usually they visit prayer mountain stay there three days or one whole week sometimes 20 days Okay, seven, we must expect eating heavenly manna. Eating heavenly manna means God's miraculous food supply. On the way of visiting Holy Mountain, Elijah experienced something miraculous. First King 19. Okay, it is written this way. Why Elijah himself went a, a day's journey into the wilderness. So he just entered into the desert, very 
dry desert. It takes usually three days. He walked just one day travel inside the desert. He came to a broom bush. As you see this photo, this is a broom bush. Broom bush sat down under it and prayed that he might die. I have had enough, Lord, he said, take my life. I am no better than my ancestors. Then he lay down under the bush and fell asleep. All at once, an angel touched him and said, get up and eat. Okay. He experienced eating special food prepared by heavenly angels. So broom tree is not so tall. But if you sit down, uh, your body is covered by the hot sunshine. Okay, Elijah rested here, encountered God once again in the wilderness, even on the way of going into Mount Sinai. So, uh, every moment, even the procedure to reach to your goal of prayer, you experience uh, this kind of blessing. May you experience this kind of blessing. We are supposed to experience, uh, we are supposed to experience uh, this kind of heavenly supply or heavenly manna. Okay, uh, at this moment, I want to praise a meaningful song. You are my hiding place. You are my hiding place. You always feed my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say, I am strong in the strength of my Lord. Once again, you are my hiding place. You always fill my heart with songs of deliverance. Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. I will trust in you. Let the weak say, I am strong in the strength of my Lord. I will trust in you. Amen. May God protect you. May God supply you miraculous food. May you experience entering into deep chamber. I wish you experience wonderful encounter with powerful Holy Spirit. That is the only way we can overcome this kind of pandemic period successfully. In Jesus' name, in the glory of God, God bless you. Heavenly peace be with you. Shalom. Shalom.